Hi everyone, welcome to VMD Tutorials. Today we will learn how to make a movie or a video from the MD trajectory. So you have a simulation and want to show it as a video, as a part of a presentation, or you just want to attach it as a supplementary information to your publication. So it's nice to have a video from your MD simulation. So today we will go with the simplest way of making a video is VMD. Of course, there are different tools, but VMD luckily has a a plugin called Movie Maker, which is installed by default in VMD, and it's very easy to use. So, if you go to Extensions and Visualization and Movie Maker, you will get this very simple interface that you can use to create a movie. And before I go on, the idea of making a movie in or a video from a trajectory in VMD is that VMD takes the snapshots equivalent to each frame in your simulation and then combine these images into a video using a processing tool that can convert images to a video and this is actually it's any video in the world is just kind of a combination of movies or sort of a combination of images so for this simulation i will use a dummy trajectory which is protein in water kind of a simulation just for the sake of the tutorial and we're going to have three steps. The first step is we load our trajectory. The second step is we get the representation we want to show here, like how we want our protein to look like during the video. And the third step is making the movie. So I will get my trajectory by file, new molecule, and I'll get my PSF file first. Some people like to get the trajectory first, but I don't know. I evolve it this way. And I have the simulation. This is very short, of course, for the time p for, for, for the time sake, because if we, we're gonna teach you on a very large trajectory that will take a lot of time. So I'm interested in making a movie of the protein, how it moves during the simulation. So first of all, I will improve this representation. I don't like the black background, at least for this simulation. So as you see, I will change it to white. Cool and i don't like the perspective i like orthographic it looks better and since we are not going to rotate during the video i don't like to have this so i can remove it or you can keep it you can make it like uh say lower right so for this tutorial i will remove it and first i need to align my trajectory because uh, we need to see the evolution of motion uh, uh, with the first frame as a reference. So you need to align it. So I will go to the RMSD trajectory tool and I will say backbone and I will say align. Or you can align from the command line or whatever. And the second step is getting a nice representation of our protein. So we go to graphics representation and I'm interested in protein only, f at least for this video. Later on, we can learn how to show the solvent molecules in the same time. But I like to start, you know, step by step for, from the basic ones. And I will say new carton. Okay. And then I'd like to zoom it like this. And we can hit T in the keyboard. So you can T uh, translate or transfer. Sorry, if you hit R, so you get back to the rotation mode. T, you see. If you hit S, you can zoom in and zoom out. So I'll get back to R. And then there's, you know, the depth, uh, you know, so now we see more realistic. And then I will turn on some lights to make it, you know, shine a lot. And then uh, I don't like this material. I will make it edgy shiny. And I will increase the resolution of my uh, structure of my representation and that's cool let's see how it looks like now okay yeah it moves too much very fast so there is a nice way to make the video looks better by smoothing the trajectory what i mean by smoothing is you know i you will know now so if i hit five increase it to five so that's cool right if i make it 10 slower but i think five because the trajectory is slow so we want to see some movement 
So that's cool. So now we are ready with the representation. Of course, this is not the best thing, but I'm giving you the backbone of the tutorial. Later on, we will make some cool stuff using maybe different methods or with more complicated systems or showing the solvent during the simulation or whatever. But yeah, I have a nice representation here. And what else I can do? I will go to my uh, very simple uh, movie making plugin and yeah. So here what we have is the render. What kind of render are you going to use? Of course I will use a snapshot because if I use Tekion, which is very high quality or high resolution renderer, will take forever. So I will stick with snapshots for this tutorial, but in your case, if you have a computational power, of course it's better to go to Tekion. Cool. So from here you're going to use the, the tool that will render your structure, similar to rendering any images from the simulation. And the movie settings, we are having a trajectory here. And there is, uh, I enabled this, or it's already enabled by default. So, because VND is going to create, like, for this 75 frames, it will create, like, 75 images. So, I don't want my working directory to be full of stuff. So, it will delete the images after finish. And then the format, by default, it is here. And what is here is the package that you will use to process the images or to transfer or combine the images to convert them into a movie. So you should have this image installed by uh, by uh, by default in your computer. So if you are using Mac or some Linux distribution, it's already installed by default. But in my case, it wasn't. So uh, I will include how to install it. It's just a single command uh, here. You just sudo apt get install netpem because this package is a part of this program and it will be installed in seconds. So now we are fine. Let me stop this because computer start to burn. Yeah, so this is for Linux or Mac. If you are using Windows, so save yourself and get some Linux, okay? Because with Windows, you need to have paid uh, uh, tools to convert your images. And I don't recommend you to work computational chemistry with Windows. At least to get a virtual box. Cool. So, uh, where is it? Uh, movie Maker. Sorry. I already opened it, yeah. So, and here the name of the output. It's uh, untitled. It can be water, protein, or whatever. And this is the rotation angle and the trajectory step size because I have only 75 frames. I'm not going to stride it, you know. And the movie duration. And then I will choose the working directory. I'm in the desktop in a folder called movie and then I will say to my program please work and make me a movie so you see it's creating a lot of images and stuff by the way don't forget to to open VMD as a uh, with privilege as sudo because if you don't open this it will not be able to work yeah cool so I will close VMD we are done thank you mr. VMD and I had a video but this is very weird uh, extension, you will not see it, so I would like to have it in, 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 in an mp4 uh, format, which is very common and you will be able to, to see it. So, I will convert this into uh, using any packages into an mp4 or whatever you would like. So I will use this tool to convert it with a single command. I'll copy it from here because I always forget. So. I will tell up in the terminal I will say the input is the untitled movie that we made now and the output is mp4 uh, is the name whatever you like and I will just hit enter and you see just a second and I have it you know and we have not the best movie not the highest resolution but at least you got an idea of how uh, it works there are many scripts to make a lot of stuff to make higher resolutions that I will work on uh, in the next videos, we, you can show the time evolution here. You can have th the solving molecules, but I'm just learning with you. But you know, that looks nice. Not the best representation. So that's cool. If you have any questions, just write in the comment sections. But never ask very general questions that has no relationship with the video because because this drives me crazy. Just please ask questions related to the topic of the video. And if you have any suggestions or if you, you, you have any uh, better way to make it, just let us know because we are learning together. And take care and be safe and see you in the next video.